What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a brand new video and what we're going to be showing you guys today is literally one of the most badass attacks that I've ever seen. As many of you already know, I sometimes will make a video just off of inspiration. I'll see something and say, that is what I want to make a video on. And that is exactly what happened in uh, this weekend CWO match. Just to give you guys a quick background, uh, what you guys are looking at on your screen right now is this is the From Molten Lava uh, versus FYSB CWO Premier Week 9 uh, matchup. And we have an incredible 10v11 attack to show you guys. I believe it's the only one that we've done. No, no, we've cleared two. We've cleared two out of the four so far. What makes this attack even that much more special is everybody by now knows how difficult 10v11 is. I'll go ahead and scout the base for you guys just so you can see it. Everybody knows how difficult 10v11 is. Some are saying uh, it's more difficult than 10v10 to an extent depending on the weight of the base. And we can just see that based off of hit rate percentages. What makes this more remarkable is that this was a fresh uh, 10v11 hit. Uh, I was on voice uh, with Rindith when uh, we were planning this. We were wondering how we were going to hit this. Were we going to do uh, a Lalo? Were we going to bowler smash? Were we going to go ahead and zap a couple ADs and use dragons? We were thinking all different sorts of ideas. And what we came up with worked so well. worked better than what we even thought. And it's definitely a non-meta attack. Uh, when you see this attack... What you often see, or what we're seeing a little bit, 10 11, is a Lalo, where you'll, where you'll basically spam Lalo uh, one side of the base to kind of wipe it out, and then you'll send in your heroes behind them to go ahead and grab the Town Hall. On this attack, we do it a little bit different, where we end up doing it with dragons, uh, and we do see a lot of bases that have these offset air defenses, uh, you know, very similar to this one. So I don't know if it's going to be new meta. Uh, I don't, I, you know, I'm really curious to see what you guys think down in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think of this attack. We were so hyped uh, when we saw this in voice. Uh, I'll go ahead and hit replay so you guys can see it. I'll pause it real quick. Here's the army comp. We have eight loons, 10 dragons. We have drag loon going to be coming out of the CC. We have heroes, heal, Three Rage, a Jump, I'm sure you guys will know what that's for at the very end. A Quake to go ahead and soften everything up in the core. And like I said, this was a fresh hit, so we didn't know what exactly was going to be in the CC. So we went ahead and brought a Poison. So go ahead and hit play. Uh, Rinneth is going to be coming at this base with 10 Dragons, plus the one in the Clan Castle, uh, over at 12. And up at 12 and over at 9 o'clock. Went ahead and dropped one loon just to target that mortar. End up getting a Sam. Rather have a balloon hit a seeking air mine than a dragon. Uh, so here he's just dropping a dragon on the elixir pump at the top. The gold mine over at 9 o'clock just to kind of tighten. He wants a really nice tight funnel. Here comes the CC dragons with a few level uh, level uh, 7 loons coming out of it. Uh, here he goes and rages one side. Goes ahead and rages the other. So we already know it's looking very, 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 very nice as far as the splits. The dragons are nice and even coming through this base. Uh, look at, drops that heal spell right where those balloons are. And you can clearly see that a path is being made for the heroes. The idea is for the heroes to go ahead and grab the town hall. The balloons end up taking out the eagle artillery. You can clearly see a nice path has already been set. So right here, he goes ahead and drops his king down just to start beating on the wall nice and early. Uh, notice he does have, uh, like I said to start, he does have one jump spell, and he went ahead and saved that poison. The enemy CC was squishy, uh, meaning it was just like a baby dragon, a witch, and a valk or something like that. Uh, but you can see right here, he did save his poison, as there is going to be a couple of the ground troops are going to be coming out of it. Uh, right before the wall breaks, the king breaks through the wall, drops queen down behind. So here they're coming straight for the town hall because the dragons carved an amazing path for those heroes. So he has a little king on king action. Uh, queen helping out behind goes ahead and drops that poison, which ends up working out because there were ground skellies in the core. Goes ahead and pops his king's ability. Uh, he's beaten through those skellies, beat through the clan castle. 
He's now hitting on the town hall, goes ahead and pops the queen ability. Guys, check out the percent. He's already at 61%. Queen is still going. Even those Max Inferno towers on multi-target don't do a whole lot of damage to the queen. This is going to end, guys, on a fresh 10v11 hit at 64% absolutely huge especially with how difficult 10 v 11 attacks are i definitely did not want this video to be uh, clickbait anything like that but this was literally one of the sickest most badass attacks that i've ever seen as far as 10 v 11 goes uh, again like i said let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below but rindith doing work uh big shout out to alex uh, but I, I definitely had to get this video out to you guys when, it, when, I, uh, when I saw it. So again, if you guys like the video, make sure you like it. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS. And I'll see you in the very next video.